Hi, I'm Paula. Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to finish a pico hem in my newest sock pattern, Fiori Sock. Let's start! This is how your finished sock looks like. You've just finished, you've just bound off your stitches, which creates a beautiful chain edge. And now we will be ready to sew on the edge. Remember the marker I told you to put in? It marks the beginning of your cuff. So let's see. That's the point. Where we should start sewing on our cuff. I'll use a blunt needle. I found that metal ones are the most comfortable to use for me. Okay, so we've got our stitches here, the edge stitches, and remember you should sew on the edge to the first round of your cuff. I put the safety pin here, you don't have to do this, but it might be helpful for you. So just fold down the cup, like so, and you can pin it if you like. So start with using your needle here. You can finish the row by stitching the last stitch with the first one to close the gap here. Okay, so once again put the needle into the first bound of stitch like so, catching the stitch by the outer leg of it and now by following the yarn here I will be following the smiles here catch the thread and whip stitch it look the yarn creates a line here so I will be sewing on one stitch into one stitch from the inside. I found that using only one leg gives a better result. And the uh, uh, stitches are not too, too thick, so it's more comfortable to use. Remember to use the same tension and should be elastic. The outer leg of your stitch and stitch from the line here. So continue in this manner until you sew on all the stitches around the cuff. Hello again, this is how your cuff should look like after sewing on the stitches. It creates a really beautiful edge and look, it's pretty flat. It stays flat, it's really nice, it's comfortable. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe for more knitting content and give me thumbs up. Happy knitting!